seekers of truth. Truth is something which cannot be changed, it cannot be challenged, it cannot be imagined. One has to feed the truth on your central nervous system. What is the truth? The truth is that you are not this body, you are not this mind, you are not this intelligence, you are not this conditioning of your ego, but you are pure spirit. This is one. The second one is that this whole universe is covered with a very subtle energy which is called as the all-pervading power of God's love or in Sanskrit language it is called as Param Chaitanya. So these are the two things which we have to see and this is what once we know what it is, then the truth, you can feel it on your central nervous system. For this happening, <clears throat> there is an arrangement within us already made within our being. is a power, which is a residual power of Kundalini. It is called as Kundalini because it is coined in three and a half points. Uh, it is resting in the triangular room called as sacred. That shows that the Greeks knew that it was a sacred room. Now this is the energy that has to be awakened and when it is awakened, it rises to six very subtle energy centers and pierces through the fontanel door again. And then you feel as if a cool breeze is coming out of your continental body. But this is just like a connection with the mains as we have for every instrument. With this happening, you become a self-realized person in the sense that you develop a new dimension in your awareness, in your central nervous system, on which you can feel the <coughs> centers or these chakras of your own being and that of others. So you get the self-knowledge, also you get the knowledge about others, what are their problems. Thus you become collectively conscious, as you have said, that next stage of human awareness is going to be collectively conscious. So you become collectively conscious. It's a question of becoming. It is not just a certificate, it is not exercise. Sahaj, Saha means quick and jerk is for quick. Also surge means spontaneous. Yoga means the union with this all-pervading divine power. Sahaja Yoga is the right of every human being to achieve that asana. In the evolutionary process, we have come to the stage where we are human beings. The knowledge that we have is not absolute. To get to the absolute knowledge, we have to rise higher into new realm beyond thought. And this is the new realm which you achieve after Sahaja Yoga, by which you feel the truth, the absolute truth, and everybody feels the same. With the awakening of the Kutali, so many things also happen because it nourishes all your centers. By the nourishment of the centers, you find that your health suddenly improves. Definitely, Sahaja Yoga has cured many uh, psychosomatic diseases like cancer, no doubt about it. But it only happens if the Kundalini rises and pierces through your body bone Then only it happens and it works out in a way that will definitely to show you that something new has happened. But apart from that, you get your mental peace. Many mental cases have been given. Also, you get your intelligence suddenly sharpened because the brain that you are using is just a wee part. But when the light of your spirit comes into your brain, you start seeing things much more deeply and understanding them much better. 
It's such a remarkable thing that it has to happen to all of us as the last jump or the breakthrough into the evolutionary process. As this surge yoga is not a new thing. It has been there, but it was only transmitted from one master to one disciple. Only in the 12th century, somebody wrote about it very clearly for the masses. In India, there has been for ages a struggle for the great movements to find them. As a result of that, people have become more on the spiritual side than on the materialistic side. There's another thing that lots of saints were born in this country who have talked about the knowledge of the spirit. We call it an adhyatma. If you do not have the base of this spirituality or at least the understanding about spirituality, with any progress one can topple down because that is the foundation of human life. If you have the proper idea about spirituality, then whatever way to achieve in life, it doesn't give you ego and it doesn't put you into imbalances. <clears throat> this is the reason why the people in the West started seeking. They didn't have the proper idea as to what should be the life style of a Sikh, which Indians have. Because they never had this idea, they succumbed to certain things like false groups. Then also they succumbed uh, to things like drugs. Now drugs are another thing which takes you to the imbalance. It can never take you to the divine. The reason is that it reduces your awareness. Why when you become the divine, your awareness becomes very much uh, increased, not only that, but sharp and penetrate. So whatever makes your awareness dull or lowers it down has to be against the spiritual purpose. So if you want to have the truth, then you have to give up your drugs. But I think in Sahaja Yoga I've seen wonders that even if you do not give up drugs and you come to Sahaja Yoga, when your Kundalini really realizes, then automatically you give up drugs. I don't have to tell you. Because sometimes I find if I talk against drugs, many would just leave the hall. But I don't talk about it, I just think that that is good and And next day they are without it. So that can happen to you because in the light of the spirit, you can see if you are holding the snake in your hand or you are holding the rope in your hand. So that is how to get to that higher state, you have to be prepared that this all, all the, uh, all the kinds of uh, drugs and all kinds of intoxicants which you have been using have to be given because they reduce your spirituality, not only but they reduce your awareness even for this time. So I wish luck to all the people who want to give up drugs can easily get it done to Sahaja For all these things you don't have to pay. It's your own power within yourself which works it out automatically because it's a living process. It's a living process and this is where we all have to as people who come to Sahaja Yoga, they bring their children and they bring their sons and daughters and say that they are very dull in study, they are not good at study. So I tell them that if you just get them realized, their brain will be more enlightened. And it has happened that many children who were regarded as absolutely hopeless cases became very, very brilliant. And we have some records, like there was one boy who was only 21 years of age and he passed his chartered accountancy, which no one has done so. We had another record of a boy about his medical studies. So we have records and we, all the children who are following Sahaja Yoga are getting scholarships and that we well. The reason is that 
once you get your realization, not only that your brain uh, activity improves, but also there is a complete balance in your life and there is no struggle between your, uh, your heart and your brain. And you are just settled down with yourself. It's such a peaceful state. So for students it's important that they should take Kusar Yoga. And they can learn things so fast that a lot of time will be left for them. And we had cases like that. Those boys, they say, just fast, just now. I said, nothing, we just did something, and the same thing in the class, and, and the same thing came even in the exam. So, so many cases we have got where people have done so well with their studies. See, this imbalance has come to us to such an extent that now we have got ecological problems. The ecological problems are only man-made, they are not made by God. So if a human being gets completely transformed, all his habits change, all his hankering change, he becomes satisfied so, and he doesn't try to acquire things uh, to that extent, nor does he want to aggress other people with his business, nor does he want to produce too many things at a time. Moreover, we have produced a lot of plastics. That was not necessary. We can do with one proper plate of glass instead of having ten plastics. So all these uh, Western uh, growth ha it has been like a tree which has grown too big and has not found out its roots. Surge Yoga is the way you can find out your roots and that's how this big huge civilization which is on the brink of a shop will come to life and you will see that the future is going to be beautiful for all of us.